Welcome everyone. So here in this video, I'm going to start a new chapter that is chapter five. So students, before starting this chapter, I want to tell you that as you know that we have already completed our chapter four. So I think your copies are completed. Okay, so uh, already you get enough time to complete your work, right, students? So I think you have done it. So I want to uh, check all of your like all your copies, uh, your maths copy, and also I want PDF of your uh, practice copy. So wh while doing online classes, I will. mention that who have to submit because uh, like all together i cannot uh, check all the copies so that's why i will i, I have decided that i will um, divide you students into some groups and uh, then i will tell you that okay so this students will send me uh, their practice copy and maths copy today so then i will check uh, their copies and similarly um, like uh, i will group uh, group you into some like you know sections so that everyone can send me and i i can check all of your copies because that is very very important it's not like you are sitting in the home so you will not do your work because students see uh, here now we are doing what virtual classes right online classes we are following we are trying to uh, you know improve our habits so why don't we keep our copies up to date because in case of uh, like uh, when we are doing um physical classes so in that uh, case what should we do we do our everyday's work is not it if i give you some work in class so in class activity also you participate active uh, actively right so why don't we do same thing virtually so we are getting the platform where we don't have any problem right uh, you can communicate with me uh, and uh, also if you have any doubt we can uh, discuss it in online class and even if i told you that if you have anything to ask you can ask me any time i'm there to help you so students now from your side also i want cooperation so that we can go um uh, smoothly and we can uh understand everything conceptually okay students so as much as possible i'm trying to uh, do so students in case of anything any difficulty you just uh, tell me okay or you can ask me that ma'am how is this happening i am not understanding so if you share with me then i can help you suppose you are not getting interest to do something or uh, anything so you can share with me so that i can give you some ideas which will help you to do your work properly on time and also you will find some interest in that so yes i know you are excited about the new chapter that is factors so without doing any delay so let's start so yeah you can see the chapter name is factors in case of multiplication we already get what are called factors right students as you can see i have taken one example 5 into 2 is equal to 10 so in this case this two number they are called factors and the answer we get that one is called product so this one we already learned in the chapter multiplication the number we multiply to get uh, product is called factors okay students the number that are multiplied to get the product are called factors to understand this concept i have one more example over here so you can see here i have considered 12 apples so yeah i'm not good that much in drawing but yeah i think you can identify these are some apples so here it is one line of apples or we can write it as 1 into 12 right students then we can get how much 1 into 12 will be what 12 now in second step you can see again we have 12 uh, apples but here it is two line of six apples this one is apples okay students two line of six apple you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so two lines of six apples so here this one also we can write it as 2 into 6 right students and 6 and again 6 so 2 into 6 it is what 12 2 6 2 12 right okay another step we have it is three lines of four apples you can say here four apple four and four so there are total three lines so here three lines of four apples or we can write it as 3 into 4 so if we do it how much will get 12 right so you can see in every step we are getting 12 you can see this is the first step 
so in second step again 12 in the third step again 12 right so here you see these are some numbers which we are using to get the product so what are these numbers students as I just mentioned over here the numbers which we multiply to get the products are called factors so in this case 1 12 2 6 3 4 they all are what factors right thus we can say that 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 are all factors of 12 is not it by multiplying these numbers we are getting 12 so that is why these numbers are the factors of 12 students you have understood understood so here are some points i am going to mention so here you see properly 1 1 is the smallest factor, okay, in every case, okay, students, in every case, like whatever the number is given, here the number is 12, so whatever the number is given, always, always 1 will be the, what, smallest factor, okay, so you remember this, 1 is the smallest factor factor and 1 is the factor of every number okay because students whatever we multiply with the number so if we are multiplying it with 1 we get the same number so it may be whatever the number so if you are multiplying it with 1 so we will get the same number right so that is why 1 is called as the factor of every number okay now the K in, in case of this, so here 12 is our what? Product. We need this number. So, in case of any number, the number itself is the highest or greatest factor. Okay. So, every number is the greatest factor of itself. So, here what is the number here? 12. So, 12 is the greatest factor of itself. Okay. So, here you see this is the smallest factor and 12 is the what? Greatest factor of 12. Okay, that means of itself. Next, next point is every factor of 12 is less than or equal to 12. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay, so these all numbers are what? Less than 12 or equal to 12. Okay, 12 is also one factor itself so 12 is equal to 12 and these all are less than 12 okay so the factor the factors of a number are equal to or less than that number okay students so always remember that means the factors will not exceed the number okay the factors will not be more than the number itself okay always it will be equal or less than the number so these are some points you need to remember. Now we will see finding factors of a number. So here students actually two methods are there. From that two method I will start with multiplication. So this is the method one multiplication. Using multiplication we can find the factors. Okay. So here you can see one question is given. Find the factors of 18 using multiplication. Okay. That means this method one we are going to use. So now let's do it. Students, see this carefully. I am going to tell you each and every step, like step by step, I am going to tell you how you have to find factors. Okay. When the question is given, you have to find the factor of what? 18. So, 18 is your what? The number. Okay. So, first of all, you have to try. As it is mentioned that multiplication, that means you have to start from 1. Okay. So, 1 is the, as I told you just now, 1 is the factor of every number. So, if we multiply 1 with 18, we will get 18. Is not it? Yes. Now, let's try with 2. So, with 2, if we multiply anything, can we get 18? Of course. 9 2 ja, 18. Right? Now, with 3 ja, Yes. 3 6 ja, 18. Right? Now let's see with 4. Uh -uh. With 4 we cannot. Right? Because 4 4 just 16. And 4 5 just 20. But we need 18. So here in this case 
not possible now with 5 if we do so 5 3 ja 15 and 5 4 ja 20 so here also it is not possible now what will be the next step 6 but students as you can see we already get this that means if you are multiplying uh, 3 into 6 or 6 into 3 the outcome will be same so that is why no need to write here and this is the time you have to stop here why I have written stop that means here you have to stop because we will not get any more factor of 18 okay that's it why because now the next next step will be 6 okay so now everything will be repeat like 6 if we do then with 7 it will not go with 8 it will not go then with 9 so 2 9 ja 9 2 ja it is ultimately it is same right so this is the time when you already get this number okay so we have to stop because we have already found 6 to be a factor of 18 okay so that's why finally you can write this okay so students when you will write you can follow this 1 2 3 then 6 9 18 okay like this way okay so you can see here i have written so as i told you one is the factor of every number and the number itself is the highest or greatest factor of itself okay so students i think this uh question is clear to you how we can find factors of a number by using Mm, method one that is multiplication okay so students one more thing i want to tell you like how do you know when to stop trying to find factors okay so one step i already told you that if you're getting the uh, if you're uh, means in the next step if you're finding the same number so at that point you can stop okay and always remember students if uh, like to find the factor okay stop at that number uh, which means um, where you can get the exactly that number okay because if you go for further steps it will be more if it is more than the number then at that point you will never get the number okay so basically what i'm going to uh, trying to say you is that uh, suppose uh, you are finding the um, you are finding the factor of 20 okay so 20 we need to find out right so now you see if we start from 1 so 1 into 20 yes now with 2 yes because 2 10 ja now with 3 no we cannot because 3 7 ja 21 so we cannot so here you can write not possible okay now with 4 let's try 4 5 ja 20 okay so now you see students next step will be what 5 but 5 we already get so that means here it is the point where we have to stop. Okay. And students, why we have to stop here? Another reason is that if you were like, okay, 5 to you got. Now you can also try with 6. Is not it? You may ask me that, ma'am, can we um, uh, try with some other number? So in that case, students, if you try with 6, 6 and 6 time, if you do, you will get 36, which is more than which is more than 20 is not it so that is why we it is not possible to find out more and more factors for 20 okay exceeds 5 so that is why this is the point where we have to stop because if we do some more multiplication then also we'll get more and more number not 20 okay so that is why we have to stop here so I think this one is clear to you students I will give some questions for you to uh, practice okay so these are the questions students you have to do it in your copy so you can also say this one as your homework okay so students i am not uh, giving you this uh, question into pdf form because these are very simple questions i think you can see clearly in this video so you have to find out the factor of 40 uh, 16 24 and 37 okay so you write them in your copy and after finishing you can uh, click the picture and you can send it to me so that i can see whether you have done it correctly or not in my next video i will discuss about uh, method 2 that is by using division and also the answers for these questions 
so thank you so much and do watch this video properly and try to understand maybe this one is a very new concept for you but you are going to enjoy this if you understand this properly and students as i already told you that uh, in case of mathematics practice can make you perfect so that is why do not forget to practice and do your work